Well, hey everyone, it's Drunken Otaku here, and I continue my Fate Zero Marathon as I attempt to catch up, which I think I will. I have plenty of time still, but attempt to catch up before the Fate Zero <laughs> event on Fate Go. <laughs> All right, we're going to get episode 10 started right here in three, two, one. Reen? Yeah. I've had basically a non-stop headache for like two weeks straight. Not as bad as some of the headaches I usually get, though. It's just been kind of there, but like not awful. I usually get like these horrible migraines that last like three days in a row, man. Where I can't even freaking do anything when they pop in, man. I'm just... There, when I get them, they're bad, but... Like I said, these headaches have been totally manageable, but like it's been like a non-stop dull ache in my center of my head. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with that. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, things like the intricate things like that will take time always. <laughs> she sure is popular. <laughs> And very helpful for everyone. So true. Now, I don't blame him at all. I'll be doing the exact same thing. No, nah, it doesn't matter how practiced you are, man. He cares about you. He'd be sending you away, no matter what. Whoa. Oh, damn, man. So we got actual forbidden tomes and shit in this. Okay. Oh. Friends are showing up. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit.
You're heading back home where your dad doesn't want you because you want to check on your friend. <laughs> oh, shit. I got a horrible feeling. <laughs> Because this is not a good place to be right now. I have a feeling she's going to see some horrible shit this episode. Mm. Oh, God. Yep, that's where she... Yes. You rolled a one on your fucking stealth. I'm stressing. I'm stressing. Uh, I'm just waiting to see bug eyes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so stop giving her readings everywhere. It's just giving her direct reading now. Okay. <coughs> See, I figured it was going all over the place because the servant energy all over the all over the city. You know, was my initial thought. See, now it's going all over the place again. Woo. You need to call your dad. You need to call your dad. If you're not careful, you're going to see something that's going to haunt you forever. Oh.
Overflow of mana to make a break. Yep. The shards game in the eyes. No telling, but geez, they locked the fuck out. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Cast are targeting you right now, I think. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. He he found her and saved. Okay, he saved her ass. Jesus Christ, man. For her, yeah, he does. That whole storyline right there just breaks my goddamn heart.
Well, Ren, you did a good thing. <laughs> you managed to do a lot. You saved a bunch of kids' lives. Awesome. Whew. <clears throat> this episode almost got me to cry. I'm not even going to lie right there, man. When he was talking to her mom right there, man. Shit. That almost, that almost nailed me right there. That was edging. Whew. But yeah, this this was an enjoyable episode. Like, not a whole lot happened as far as plot things go with the main characters, but we got a little peek inside Ren's life as far as things go. And all in all, man, she did a good job, and she didn't see anything too horrible. Thankfully, Jesus Christ, I was I was real worried for her. And then um, when everything went haywire, man, I thought for sure Caster was on her ass, man. But nope, it was just <laughs> oh man. I'm guessing uncle is what I'm guessing. Um, I I can't remember if it was actually stated or not, but basically he found her and put brought her to safety <laughs> and kept an eye on her. And his only wishes for, you know, Sakura to be able to have a normal childhood and be happy and Go be with Ren as her sister, man. And now that I know that's her sister, I've been rewatching Unlimited Blade Works with my buddy John. And man, you can just see all the little teases and stuff they had there, man. You know, you can just see all those little moments, you know. Why she was always outside, uh, she, you know, whenever, um, she'd be frequently outside Sakura's place, keeping an eye on things, just kind of standing outside, you know. When she found Shiro, you know, um, at the very first episode, and was like, how am I going to look her in the face and freaking out when she saw who it was, you know. Hmm. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to jump into the next one here in just a moment. So uh, this is Drunken Otaku, and I will see you in the next episode. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I show for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon set up. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.